These days, it can be hard to get students' attention and keep them engaged. Students will complain about having to do homework, but will then spend hours working on a difficult task in a video game. Teachers need new tools that inspire this type of motivation in their students. Before we used academics, honestly, there wasn't enough instruction in going on in basic facts. Students were frustrated, you know, because they weren't enjoying mathematics because they weren't as successful as they needed to be. Before academic skill builders, we used flashcards. The students were frustrated with the program and the flashcards were boring for them. Flashcards are really boring. Um, you know, some of them don't even put any motivation into it. It was like boring to you. We have to do this again. And so therefore, there just wasn't enough practice going on. And we know that a lot of our students were not getting fluency with their basic facts. Everyone knows kids love video games. But what makes video games so fun? Four main reasons we found are competing with friends, the thrill of a challenge, earning awards and prestige, and discovering new environments. Arcademics takes those engaging traits of gaming and integrates educational content. Our multiplayer games foster friendly competition and collaboration and challenge students in a way they appreciate. The students love playing games online. They play games at home all the time. And so their being able to play games at school is a fantastic uh, interface for them because they love to do it. They love playing with one another. They love, they love playing games and they don't even realize that they're learning while they're doing it. The academics is very exciting. They enjoy doing the games in the classroom and at home and want to do it every day. We're 10 minutes over today because everyone was so involved with the games. They love having that video game challenge and they're not realizing that they're memorizing facts at the same time. They're wanting to learn their facts even faster to try to beat each other too and it's a challenge. Students can earn achievements based on their performance as they play through different scenarios and content areas. If they work a lot on academic skill builders, they're getting more and more correct on their weekly two-minute test. But if they're not working so much on the academic skill builders, I don't see their scores increasing on their weekly test. So that's exciting to see the progress being made. Yes, their competitiveness really helps um, you know, their speed and their accuracy of knowing the facts. Academics blend video game features into instructional research in order to achieve a high rate of student learning through increased time on task and engagement. So that's how Arcademics helps students. But now there's also Arcademics Plus, which is designed to help teachers by giving them insight into how their students are performing. As the students are playing the game, the data gets collected in the background. And so that when you log in, you can see all the students' data and you can see their progress. You can see which questions are getting correct, which ones they're getting incorrect. You can see the rate that they're getting those answers correct. And so you can really, really very, very genuinely see their improvement as they're playing. It helps the teacher track the progress of the students as they complete and learn all their math facts. With Arcademics Plus, teachers can create customized games that can be differentiated for individual student needs. Instead of an automated, one-size-fits-all program, Arcademics is teacher-driven. Teachers can monitor student performance through our online reports, and use that data to inform instruction. The dashboard gives quick access to the main features, student roster management, creating custom games, and viewing progress reports. The leaderboard lists students by achievement points they've earned, and the feedback box sends feedback and questions directly to customer support. The Students tab is for managing student roster and logins. Roster spreadsheets can be uploaded to create student accounts and usernames. Students can be organized into groups, and each group can be assigned differentiated game content. In the Activities section, teachers can customize game content to match their lesson plans. For example, if the class is working on the multiplication table of fives, the teacher can create a game that focuses on those problems. Different content can be assigned to different students. So one student can be working on their fives and another on their nines. Games assigned by teachers show up in the student's homepage. They select a game to play and earn achievement points based on their performance. As they play, their answers are recorded and sent to the teacher's reports page. 
Students can watch lesson videos that model frequently missed problems, and then practice these problems in the games. The reports display student performance scores in a usable way. Teachers can monitor student progress and quickly identify student problem areas. If the class is struggling with a particular problem, like 7 times 8, the class report will highlight the problem and the teacher can see which students need reinforcement. The trend line chart shows the growth of a student over time. If a student's performance plateaus or declines, the teacher can zoom in to find the problem area. The item performance chart shows which items are the easiest for the students, which ones are the most difficult, and which ones take the longest to answer. This data can be used to adjust classroom instruction to address areas of concern. With the leaderboard report, students are listed in leaderboards by achievement points and also by race times. This can be used to conduct class contests and award performance. I look at the student reports to see, first of all, if they're playing or not playing. I also use the student overview and I can click on individual students and see their progress. And we really like to be able to look at the graph where you can see if their scores are going up and to see if they're doing a good job with their accuracy and their speed. Using the reports has allowed us to see that students are on track to meet their goals, to see which holes the students have. It also allows us to see which students are improving at a good rate and which students need more instruction in order to further improve. And when we can show them the progress that they're making using the charts that are available on Academics Plus, it's, it's really motivating for them as well. Um, they're also very motivated by the class leaderboard, which is on the home page, in earning stars based on the number of games and how they earn points on the site. I had two students in November that were kind of neck and neck, and you could tell they went home and they worked and worked and worked so they could beat the level of the next person. They were back and forth. Uh, the parents said, wow, they're practicing their math facts all the time. What's really cool about it is when you got the instruction happening in the classroom and then follow it up with the practice in academics, you can see the student growth and the students love it. Here at Academics, our goal is to help make school engaging for students. When students are engaged, great things are possible. School plus gaming plus data equals academics. Plus.